Hi Leo and welcome to your December 2018 Spirit Guide messages. I'm going to start with pulling a card to see what the overall message your Spirit Guides would like you to focus on is for the month of December. Now this could be about a situation in your life, a relationship in your life, or a question that you had on your mind before you watched this video. So Leo, let's see what your guides want you to focus on for December. Okay, earn it. This says, abandon your ego and work towards your goal one step at a time. Education, virtue, and diligence allow a soul's inner wisdom to manifest itself. There is no shortcut. You must earn it. So Leo, with this, couple different messages. First of all, anything that you are trying to achieve for yourself, whether it's personal growth, career growth, um, obtain something, reach a goal, it doesn't matter what it is. Your guides are saying you are going to have to really work hard at it. But if you are willing to put in the time, energy, and effort and be very diligent and disciplined in whatever you are working to achieve, Leo, you will absolutely 100% have success in it. So know that and believe that and strive towards it. Now, the other message with this could be that, you know, somebody trying to come back into your life in the month of December or, you know, somebody new trying to get favor with you or something along those lines, it's Leo, make them really prove themselves to you first. Make them prove themselves worthy and that their motivations are pure. It's like, don't be easy. Make somebody really work for your time, energy, and attention, especially if they've burned you in the past, all right? So let's keep pulling more cards, Leo, and see what else comes out. Okay, so we have the Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. Leo, you have really got to listen to your intuition, your heart, your soul during December and act accordingly. So if your intuition is telling you one thing, but, you know, your logic or reality is like, that's completely stupid, you might want to go with your intuition, Leo. Also, any sort of like creative idea, talent, um project or endeavor you take on, if you work really hard, you will make magic out of it. There is no question there. Um, if somebody's, like I said, burned you in the past, they've really got to make things right and do what it takes to heal the past, but also prove themselves worthy that they have changed, that they do see the light. And also, Leo, if you are trying to reconcile with somebody or get back into somebody else's life, they may ask you to prove yourself. They may be doubtful or suspicious of you somehow, some way. So let's keep adding to this. Okay, third house, messages. Uh, Leo, this is saying communicate yourself, communicate your thoughts, communicate everything that you have got to say. This is not a month to hold back. This is a time to really express yourself for whatever that is. Um, if you need to tell somebody off, tell them off. If you need to tell somebody the truth of something that you know happened, but you've just not really said that you've known for whatever reason, it might be a good time to come clean. Um, if somebody's really made you mad or upset or did things that bothered you and you've really just held it in, held it in, held it in, it's a good time to really let it all out. But um, more than that, with this third house, you're just going to come into insights and understandings. And those of you who are very spiritually gifted, you're going to be receiving a lot of um, downloads and messages from your spirit guides, especially towards uh, creative projects or something to do with your spiritual talents and gifts, like bringing it into some sort of creative platform or actually finally putting yourself out there for all the world to see. And, you know, the Wisdom of the Divine card is 9, card 27, 7, 8, 9. So you got two 9s here, Leo. You guys are nearing the end of um, some sort of process and cycle for your soul. But 
don't be afraid to speak your mind in December. And again, anybody trying to come back into your world, Leo, you make them prove their worth. Or if somebody is trying to get in your favor or persuade you to do something, you really make them state their case. Like, I don't care if you love this person and you trust them with your life, you make them state their case 100% and then decide, you know, is this something I really want to do? Is this something I want to be involved with? You know, make sure you have all the details. And if you're confused in any way or unsure, educate yourself before you say yes to anybody or anything in December. Again, make sure that they have proven themselves worthy. All right, so we have the Eight of Swords, feeling a little worried, um, maybe feeling a little stuck, a little oppressed, not sure which way to go. And now we have the Four of Cups. Um, so, Leo, this might be we're kind of hung up in the past about something. Um, we're missing something. We're really thinking about something. We're wishing we had done things differently or we're wishing things had worked out differently than than they did and we're kind of stuck right there and now we have the page of cups so this is nice here's that a new energy coming in those messages that communication that conversation that I spoke about with the third house energy next to that is the five of swords but we might be afraid to fully express ourselves because of backlash that we may receive. And now we have the Palace of Wands. So that wrapping it up, Leo, I feel many of you have really been holding a lot in and not saying the whole truth about something or not saying that you have known about something all along. Or um, And this doesn't have to be like you're being intentionally deceptive or dishonest. It could be I just haven't told you these things because I was pretty sure you would flip your lid when I did. Because here we have some really nice conversation, love, emotion, connection. And then here is a conversation where we're fighting. We're not seeing eye to eye. Things get very, very heated. Um, emotions are running very high. So, Leo, listen. If there's things that you've just got to say that you've been holding in because you've been afraid of... Um, how somebody would receive it or the outcome of it it's time to just let it let it all flow say what you gotta say like that is gonna actually free you and release you also again you know this could be where somebody's offering you oh Leo I've changed I want to give you the Sun Moon and stars I miss you so much I can't get over you but as you challenge them to prove that, they start getting a little bit crazy with you. And, you know, anybody who's genuinely wanting to be back in your life, whether friend, lover, or family member, and you can't call them out on their bad behavior, which caused the distance in the first place, then they're not here for the real thing. If they really want to be near you and mend and move on from whatever's happened in the past, Leo, they're going to be willing to prove to you that they have changed, okay? Same goes for you. If you're trying to, um, you know, mend things with family, friends, or, you know, an ex-love, if, if the whole truth kind of gets them riled up or, um, you know, they're telling you, you've got to prove this to me, don't don't get um, angry. Anger is not the right answer for any of these conversations. Uh, it's just it's not going to get anybody anywhere. But it's like these conversations have to take place, Leo, for the new to come in, for change to happen in your life. So it's all about the conversation, the communications in December for Leo. Okay, so advice self-love. Do not beat yourself up, Leo. Um, if you've made mistakes in the past, that's okay. We are all human. We cannot change the past. It is what it is. We can only work with what we have today and go from there and do the best we can. So, um, you know, if you've been really hard on yourself, it's time to change that. Let it go. Um, if you're being really hard on somebody else, because of the crap that they did or put you through, it's time to let that go as well. It's not going to serve you. It's not going to serve them. Um, repeatedly punishing somebody for something that's happened in the past only damages the relationship, okay? 
So your advice from your guides is like, love yourself, Leo. Believe in yourself. Don't let anybody make you feel bad. Even if, you know, there's some things that we, you wish you could change or do differently, that's okay. It, it doesn't matter. It's all in the past. And you can become and do and be anything right now today. Same goes for other people. So again, yes, they have to prove themselves, but, you know, don't make them relive over and over what they did wrong in the past. So let's pull you another card, Leo. And seriously, if we do have some really big heated blowout arguments, Leo, it needs to happen. That's clearing the energy. It's making way for the new. All right, so your guidance is divinely guided. Yes, perfect. Leo, trust yourself. Do not hold back. Speak your words. Speak your truth, whether they are full of love or they're full of vinegar. you got to be real to you. And this is going to free you um, from this oppressive energy or being like kind of stuck in the past, wishing things that would have been different, wishing, you know, um, maybe you could redo things or that whoever was involved, that they had done things differently. It's, it's time to clear up this energy, even if it, you know, creates a lot of friction and everything. It's like it's what clears the air for you and for whoever else is involved. And after that, if we decide that we want to try a relationship again, friend, family, or lover, doesn't matter. We've got to earn it. They've got to earn it. We've both got to be on board. We've both got to give 100%. We cannot live in the past. It's time to allow something new to birth into your life, Leo. And, um, you know, this is the third house. This is card six and this is card nine. So I see that like three, six, nine, a progression of energy. Yeah, Leo, it's time for the past to be shed or at least talked about so that we can all move on from it. So Leo, it's all about messages and communications. Definitely about the past for most of you, uh, just because of this card combination here. So it's like healing the past through um, communication and conversation. Even if things get heated, it's still leading to something very positive in the end, okay? So those are your messages, Leo. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.